And our last award, but I have to say not least, before we take a short break, will be the award for best community-based organization in social prescribing. And this is sponsored by TCV National Lottery. Hello, my name is Debbie Adams from the Conservation Volunteers. We connect people in green spaces to deliver lasting outcomes for both. We are supporting this award because we know the power of communities to tackle the issues that matter to them to transform lives and places. I have the pleasure of introducing the shortlisted projects for the award for best community-based organisation in social prescribing. This is a category very close to our heart in TCV. The fantastic shortlisted projects are Breathe Arts Health Research, Let's Grow Preston, Blidith On The Move Support Network Nottinghamshire. Let's hear more about those projects. Breathe Arts Health Research have been working in the field of arts, health and social prescribing since 2012. We design creative approaches to healthcare that are underpinned by research and science. All of our programmes are co-designed with healthcare staff and patients. Breathe Sing for Lung Health is run in partnership with the Chess Clinic at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital. At Breathe Sing we exercise our lungs through singing and it's a marvellous way of doing it. During Covid we moved this programme to online delivery and we've increased its frequency. <laughs> Breathe Dance is run in partnership with the Older Persons Assessment Unit at Guy's Hospital. Patients at risk of falls are given the option of attending dance-based physiotherapy programme. 100% better way of doing physiotherapy. I can walk much better, I can sit up and down on a chair without holding the ends. In fact, dressing now, I've decided not to have an evening carer anymore. With our new blended model, of online and in-person delivery, our evidence-based arts and health programmes are now available and we are able to benefit more communities than before. Despite our not being able to welcome volunteers on site as regularly as usual last year, what we could do is, is grow even more food. Let's Grow Preston supports a network of community gardens throughout the PR postcode and another 800 allotmenteers on the nine allotment sites of Preston. Since 2018, we've collected surplus from the allotmenteers and passed it on to the holiday hunger markets. But last year, by April, there were already 33 food hubs in Preston providing food deliveries for those in food poverty or insecurity. In just four months, the food networks were delivering to an average of 1,400 families per week, which equated to approximately 570,000 meals being donated between April and September. It's something that we're really proud of as a city, and we continue to build upon our network of community gardens and volunteers. Bidwith on the Move support network started just after lockdown began. As chair of the local GP practice as patient participation group, I heard that patients who needed regular treatment had to visit a surgery not nearby and could ne not get to regular hospital appointments as they did not fit the criteria for transport. Five residents got together, two being from a local family business, and agreed to set the project up. This local family gave us the backing initially financially to purchase a vehicle and they adapted it with full PPE protections for the driver and passenger. As this side of the project grew, we joined the food aid scheme at our local Sherwood Forest Community Church. After starting the project, it soon became evident most service users needed more than transport. They needed support and guidance with a range of health and social care issues. We stepped in when key agencies were not in reach, and we were. Under the umbrella of our involving work, we are turning to a virtual community hub. This work is being done in collaboration with our local social prescribing link workers. Our role is inextricably linked to their key objectives. 
At the moment, we're setting up a digital inclusion group and now having a singing group via Zoom. As we grow, we hope we have made a footprint in our area and continue to improve the lives of local people. The judges were impressed by all of the projects, in particular this network's incredible achievement of distributing food packages to 2,400 people. Huge congratulations to the winner, Let's Go Preston. Well done. On behalf of Let's Go Preston, the trustees, all of our volunteers, um, I'd like to say thank you very much indeed for this award. We really, really appreciate it.